well dear good morning everybody and welcome back uh, today we are going to discuss another very useful and simple uh, generative model uh, known as naive bayes uh, classifier okay and with the context of uh, taking an example of developing a spam mail filter we will try to understand uh, how naive bayes classifier uh is model and how it works and why it is so popular as you know this uh, nowadays we get a lot of mails uh, which are actually uh, spam and uh, normally we need to design a spam filter uh, which could tell us that uh, this is a spam mail this is a non spam mail and those non spam mail afterwards they can actually um, uh, keep to another folder okay and in such situation it turns out that uh, naive bayes uh, classifier works pretty well and um, we need to now understand how to model uh, that naive bayes um, classifier using uh, a generative uh, principle it is again throughout you, you can see uh, the the uh, flow of events we are um, following we first discussed uh, the very easy Uh, to understand uh, linear regression then uh, classification in classification uh, very sophisticated logistic regression classifier we studied and those are all discriminative model and then we switch to other kind of classif uh, um, classification model uh, for example gaussian discriminant analysis where the features were actually um, assumed to be random um continuous variable uh, which follow um, normal distribution however in many practical situation that uh, may not be the case okay just like uh, uh, this um, spam filter design where the feature could be discrete in nature and in that case actually you now we cannot use um, uh, the gaussian discriminant analysis based model so those are the cases where can uh, we can use naive bayes uh, classifier okay this is another uh, generative model now let us see uh, how the uh, classifier is designed and how it works basically depending on how feature is represented actually uh, there are uh, two models okay which we will study one is known as multivariate bernoulli event model another is known as multinomial event model okay and uh, it turns out that uh, this is a very popular uh, classifier multivariate bernoulli event model um, based classifier um, is a very popular one for spam mail uh, um, uh, checking okay and in any other uh, if if you actually if you can uh, design say for example my feature uh, i am confused that whether to use uh, gda or naive bayes and then i analyze that okay the feature is not following uh, they are not continuous um, uh, um, uh, random variables and they are not following may not uh, follow gaussian distribution then even if they are continuous uh, random variable we can discretize them okay uh, we can discuss it uh, afterwards and in those discretization um, space again the bernoulli event model um, multivariate bernoulli event model or multinomial event model can be used uh, so naive bayes classifier is very very popular okay say in case of multivariate bernoulli event model this is my feature vector uh, vector x okay and i have a dictionary uh, a abacus accent all kind of thing lottery million dollar uh, lottery dollar million all kind of words are there which constitutes my uh dictionary okay and this is my vocabulary the feature vector is representing say 10000 words are there in my uh, vocabulary right so the dimension of the feature vector will be 10000 cross 1 and each element uh, uh, in the in the multivariate bernoulli event model they can take two values 0 1 zero means for example here in the dictionary first position uh, word is absent okay and this is essentially represents there are 10000 rows 
okay each represent a indexed word for example second uh, one is one means this abacus word is there in my mail so each mail will have a 10000 cross 1 uh, feature vector representation okay so <coughs> and if you know if we uh, wanted that um, we will use um, probabilistic model uh, simple uh, probabilistic model then i need how many parameters uh, 2 to the power uh, 10000 parameters to model uh, this um, uh, event which can uh, we, we, which can represent uh, 10000 words minus 1 because one parameter is already there so that many parameter will be required okay for modeling um, using um, probability um, theory okay so here we are trying to tell you that uh, what is the probability that feature 1 2 3 up to 10000 given a particular class span or non span okay if i want to calculate so this is this is what uh, the formula is telling okay probability that this feature belong to a spam mail okay uh, times probability feature 2 belongs to spam mail uh, that uh, class y uh, and x1 okay probability of getting x3 feature class uh, 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 given the class y uh, uh, and x1 x2 so like this 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 uh, calculating this kind of probability becoming harder and harder and becoming very very difficult when the feature uh, is large say 10000 words i have right so this is not possible to compute so then what we do we make the assumption that the word can occur in the mail independently and this assumption may not be true because as you know that in uh, spam mail many word they are dependent they will come they will first tell you you have 1 million dollar and then they will ask you uh, give your bank account number so all this bank account number uh, has a relation uh, they, they come together okay they are not independent but this is our compulsion to assume that the words are occurring in uh, the mail independently why the compulsion just i told you that this is very very ugly formula to work out so uh, the moment i make that uh, assumption which may not be down uh, tally with the ground truth then i can write down okay so this is this assumption after this assumption the formula is known as naive bayes formula okay because now it is computable probability given a class a feature vector x1 belongs times probability x2 uh, uh, given a class probability x2 belong all kind of things now are computable okay and this kind of things are not there okay and then it can be computed by this formula so i have n number of features so probability that features all the features belonging to a class can be computed using this formula and uh, <coughs> you see the model making is exactly similar to what you have seen in Gaussian discriminant analysis. So this is my generative model. So I need to model probability given a class uh, x belongs to the class and prior probability of, the, uh, of that class. Okay, it could be spam y equal to zero could be uh, not equal to spam in this case and y equal to 0 non spam okay and this is what is my model and the parameters phi y this is uh, actually uh, i have only spam non spam category so parameter can be determined uh, assuming um, Bernoulli distribution and uh, i have also features defined in this way okay where all these are either 0, 1, 0, 1 and now um, they can be, um, uh, parameter can be determined from the probability density fun uh, function of multivariate, multivariate Bernoulli. 
okay so this parameter phi j given y equal to uh, 0 that means um, non spam class and spam class they are multivariate uh, follow multivariate boundary distribution and using maximum likelihood estimate as you already now know the same framework we are using for this generative model also we can evaluate in terms of indicator function phi y will be i equals to 1 to m 1 this is uh, for um, so when you are getting a mail which is spam divided by total number of samples you are collecting okay so uh, and then phi j given uh, y equal to non spam equals to i equal to 1 to m indicator function 1 when it will be 1 when x j your feature uh, exists it is an n operator uh, in the non uh, non spam class divided by uh, the indicator function 1 uh, total um, non spam uh, email you have sample you have got okay similarly for y equal to 1 that is spam uh, mail the the parameter phi j will be uh, uh, will be can be determined using this uh, indicator function this is very simple actually this is simply considering the entire training set and count the number of times the word uh, that means the feature xj has appeared when the mail is spam and same thing when the mail is not spam so you see once you get this in terms of sample it is extremely easy uh, to calculate and that's why um, people love name based classifier okay so this is the training phase okay so this is training during training you have uh, got all the parameters and once you get the parameter then uh, <coughs> you will have to uh, test the model okay that means prediction has to be done now a new email has come then again use the same vector representation okay so given this vector you will have to figure out what is the probability that it becomes uh, a span say huh, equal to 1 so from this formula you can calculate so this is the model which you have already created in from the indicator function you can just uh, put those values here and this is total probability that uh, the feature uh, particular uh, feature mail um, occurs in the uh, uh, m number of samples more specifically uh, i have shown you here the probability that is a spam mail probability that x j feature belonging to the spam mail equals to this okay and this in terms of um, since we do already have the parameters we can compute all this and calculate this okay so this is the prediction using this you can predict okay and if you, uh, again of course arcmax function you can use over i okay so probability whether uh, a particular feature belonging to a class uh, y equal to 1 that means span is bigger or um, uh, the probability that that feature uh, is supporting that mail is non spam is bigger so whichever one is bigger you just classify your mail accordingly so it is extremely simple uh, but very elegant model which i wanted to share with you but uh, every small and uh, every simple thing has some problem here you can see when we are going to predict suppose uh, i have uh, created the uh, I have created the um, I have created the dictionary with 10,000 words right and during training I have used mail many mail and that may consume uh, some 5,000 words okay out of 10,000 words okay. now there could be many words so we many words are uh, my my model did not see many words and suppose you got a mail and some unseen word which is in the vocabulary but it has not been trained um, is actually uh, coming into the picture 
then the probability of that unseen male say uh, that unseen male occurred in uh, 400 place of my uh, dictionary okay and then that will be zero because to my model that particular word uh, is unknown and since here are some so many multiplication and out of that if one multiplication is zero then entire uh, this uh, numerator is zero and uh, then here also it has not seen the word is unknown so it will be zero it will be zero and then it will uh, give a prediction will be um, 0 by 0 form and it will fail to predict okay so it will not be able to predict in those cases because now the probability is getting 0 by 0 value okay so what to do um, actually this all happened because uh, unknown word came into the picture in the scenario so but how to tackle this situation um, we will discuss in the next uh, lecture and incidentally uh, that um, concept what we will use is called Laplace smoothing. Okay. So, <coughs> using Laplace smoothing we can avoid that particular problem and once the problem is gone then your prediction will be um, again working and the model will be again working and this naive base classifier is very very uh, simple uh, easy to implement classifier and it has wide application in spite of that naive assumption which you are making that the words are uh, can occur independently in the mail even with that assumption uh, naive base classifier gave very beautiful result very effective result okay and uh, as a machine learning engineer uh, you should um, learn how to work with simple model uh, just start uh, get some uh, start some uh, simple uh, and even if it is rough rough model you start from somewhere and then the beautiful uh, thing is that it is adaptive in nature that means this uh, parameters tuning training is so easy Okay, more and more newer and newer mail you get and the, you can update this parameter and more you can update this parameter your prediction will be sophisticated will be improved okay. and uh, the classifier performance will be great. So uh, that is why it is so popular computationally very friendly okay, it is a generative model and, uh, and throughout the uh, discussion which you have seen the probabilistic models which we have, um, we have discussed so far okay, has one very uh, unique characteristic feature that means they are relatively computationally very efficient because of this we are using some formula for calculating mean variance okay, and uh, plugging the samples you can uh, using maximum likelihood estimate you can just uh, figure out those parameters so easily. So that is the reason uh, these kind of um, models are very very um, effective and useful and as a machine learning engineer you must know and hone your skill how to use this model effectively for your uh, practical problem solving. Okay? And with this uh, I conclude. I wish you all the best, stay safe and next lecture we will uh, discuss that Laplace smoothing and how to improve the name base uh, classifier. Thank you for your attention.